to configure a floating static route. Floating static routes are often used when an enterprise's network has to egress devices or its egress device is dual honed on two upstream devices. As shown in the figure on the right, switch C and its attached network can reach network segment 172.16.100.0-24 through switch A and switch B. If we configure two static routes with the same destination address 172.16.100.0 on switch C, the two routes will be destined for the same destination using different hops and have the same preference and cost. The two routes will be installed into the switch C routing table. This process is called equal cost load balancing. Finally, traffic from switch C to network segment 172.16.100.0-24 will be load balanced between switch A and switch B. This is what we call a load balancing scenario. So, what's the active standby route scenario? In the same network, you may want traffic to flow from switch C to network segment 172.16.100.0 to 24 via switch A and automatically change to switch B when switch A goes down or the link between switch C and A fails. Can this be done? Of course! you can use a floating static route to accomplish this. We all know that the IP route static command can add static routes to a device. By default, the priority setting for this command is 60. You can prioritize a static route using a smaller value indicating a higher priority. If you configure two static routes with hops at 10.10.10.1 and 10.10.20.1 on switch C and set the preference of the 10.10.20.1 static route to 80, switch C will compare the preferences of the two static routes, install the route with a smaller preference value being 60 to its routing table and use it to forward data. The route with preference value 80 will be hidden and not installed into the switch C routing table. For example, in the preceding figure, when switch A goes down or the link between switch C and switch A fails, the static route with preference value 60 will become ineffective and the static route with preference value 80 will come into play. This scenario is a typical application of a static route. Floating static routes are a widely used backup mechanism. Next we will learn how to configure a floating static route. The destination network segment is 172.16.100 point zero to twenty four and the next hop address is ten point ten point ten point one you can configure a static route with the next hop at ten point ten point twenty point one you can see that the switch C routing table contains two static routes that are destined for one seven two point sixteen point one hundred point zero to twenty four both static routes have different next hops and have the same preference and cost. This indicates that the two static routes take effect at the same time and traffic will be balanced between both routes. Have a look at the following scenario. 
Static route 101021 has a preference value of 80. A smaller preference value indicates a higher priority. If you check the Switch C routing table again, you'll find that the routing table contains only the static route with the next hop at 10, 10, 10, 1. This route has a higher priority than route 10, 10, 21, so the low priority route is hidden. In this situation, we can simulate a link fault to see how the low priority static route performs. First, shut down the interface that connects switch C to switch A. After the interface has shut down, check the switch C routing table again. You can see that the static route 10, 10, 10, 1 has disappeared and the previous low priority static route with preference value 80 appears again. That is, when the link from switch C to switch A fails, traffic from switch C can automatically be shifted to switch B. This process is called floating static route or route backup. Floating static routes are a widely used backup mechanism. This is everything regarding floating static route configuration. Thank you for listening. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? Using Google search, type in All About Switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening and goodbye.